Hey guys, how's it going? So I am here with The Lightless World, a action RPG that is like a roguelike with a cosmic horror aspect. It is a like top-down game that basically is like Diablo. And uh, me and Scaredy actually play at uh, Demonic Gods. <laughs> <laughs> so how far can we go and how long can we survive? Hope you guys enjoy this little bits and pieces of us chilling and having fun all together. So and do note this is an early act game. So if you guys enjoy it, let us know down below. Let's get into it and look forward to the three takeaways at the end of the video. All right, loading map. Oh, I know the controls are auto attack, but you just basically aim and move around. So a lot of it is gonna be your dodging and stuff from what I noticed. Ah. Okay. So it, it reminds me a lot of uh, a Vampire Survivor, but two player, which is actually kind of cool. Like, I know Vampire Survivor is two player, but it's only two player on couch co op. Yeah. I'm coming to save you. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, leveled up. <laughs> Pick up radius. Uh, let's go ahead and do cooldown recovery for my skill. Yeah, that's probably be good for yours because yours are close range, right? I think, yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's see. Well, since I'm a ranged attack, I did a uh, pick up, pick up uh, radius, so I can pick up those little things quicker. Area of effect with attack skills. Huh. Ooh, that would be cool because then you'd have longer reach. Oh yeah, I can see it. You already do have longer reach. Holy shit. Yeah. It's like that you have a purple <laughs> tornado <laughs> just shooting them, being like, I'm gonna shoot ya. Here, I'll put him into one spot. Black hole, black hole, get him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. Time dilation wall, multi strike, or demonic rage. Oh, Ooh. nice. I picked uh, Annihilation, which is like a meteor shower. Multi strike sounds really cool because basically I'm piercing with all my chain and it repeats like five different times. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna now go more. There are boss, mini bosses in this, and then a main boss too. So there actually is a way to beat the area, but I'm gonna warn you, it's hard. <laughs> it's oh, not easy. Oh, really? Yeah, you have oh, to dodge. what the dodge. heck are those? That's my uh, annihilation. You saw the meteors, <laughs> or the asteroids uh, or meteors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, up again Ooh. uh void beam Ooh, enhanced whirlwind yeah that's what we want nice you're adding additional attacks and stuff yeah nice, nice. Uh. that's gonna make a huge difference uh. are we sharing a, a level bar i don't know are we i'm not sure no doesn't seem like it. Because I noticed we're leveling up simultaneously. Yeah, I did notice that. Oh no! Oh no! Here, here! Pulling him into the black hole! I'm down! No! Oh god, what do we do now? Can I can I bring you back? Do you come back? I don't know, I'm right there. Oh god. Uh I don't know how to bring you back. Hold on, hold on, I'll figure it out. I gotta kill these guys. Oh come on! Don't die, security! Oh, oh. I need to put a black hole down. Hold on, it's almost charged up. Seven seconds, and then I can kill all these guys real in a big chunk. Come on! Black hole! That's right, that's right. All you die, bitches. So I get for not paying attention to my health again. Like you <laughs> normally tell me. Pay attention oh, to your health. Okay, dark shackles, another thing. Oh, you're getting to choose your... You know what? That's why I'm thinking. The fact that you're choosing your skills still makes me believe that there's a way to bring you back. I just don't know what it is yet. You know, it'd be funny as if it's uh, one of your skill things, you hit revive. <laughs> it just brings you back. It's like, uh, if you go to your character screen, you should be able to upgrade stuff with whatever souls you collected, like upgrade your, your specialty skills and stuff. Ah, okay. So upgrade and talents. And then there's one for unlocking new skills and stuff that you can get while you level up. Yeah, I actually unlocked uh, Annihilation that way, and I have it maxed out. That's why, that's why, despite my video only being 45 minutes, that's why there was like two and a half hours of gameplay. Uh, this this definitely is one of those games that I could say goes on my addictive games list. Uh, yeah. Uh, blocks on brutal. 
I think the uh, brutal hit is the equivalent of uh, of uh, critical, isn't it? Same thing. So trust me. All right. Well, I think I got this, and I think I'm ready to go when you are. All right, I'm ready when you are, bud. All right, let's get into it. So now we know how this works. We just can't get hit by shit. <laughs> Because one yep. little hit takes away like half our health. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yay! Oh, void beam. Yep. Nice. Your guy oh, actually yeah. does a good, good chunk of damage. I'll level up again. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Ooh, plus 13 damage with void skills. Nice. Mm, I'm re-rolling. I'm only getting like... Cooldown, critical, well... Uh, crits, honestly, I stayed away from crits when I did it. Um, what I do is when I have ever when I have all my skills unlocked in the row, then I start worrying on, like, criticals. But yeah, I always do, like, the cooldown, so I'm attacking non-stop and things like that. That's just, I don't know what it is with that character, though, because you're more of a melee character. But I know with the range one, that's very important to have your skills running non-stop. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Got some up here. Come here, farmers. There we go. Pulling him into the black hole. Oh, that guy's running. You see that? He like sprinted at him. <laughs> he like sprinted at you and everything. <laughs> nah. Man. Okay. okay, so let's see. A pot. A a photic cloud. Second skill open. Huh. I think I'm gonna do chaotic energy. <laughs> Is your guy dragging chains, like energy chains behind him? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 he's gonna drag him to prison, you know? Okay, let's see. Skills, come on, level up. Yeah, level up again. Um, got cooldown recovery. Okay, so yeah, the purple cloud's actually mine. Is it? Yeah. <sighs> Wait, hold on, let me see. Because oh. I, I have one called a Photic Cloud, so it might be mine. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, mine is Chaotic Energy. Create a magical shield for five seconds. Maybe it is yours. Oh. Pick up Radius. I want to get the Annihilation again. Those Meteors, when you, have it, when you have it pulled up with the stats maxed out, it does a substantial amount of damage, especially to the bosses. <sighs> Give me more area of effect. Holy crud! Wow, you're hitting way the hell out there. You don't even have to get you don't even have to get close to them anymore. No, I don't. That's safer for you anyway. It works. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! I'm gonna get hit. Okay, uh veil of blood. Annihilation. Thank you. And don't forget to press space to get out of the way. Uh if guys get too close to you, you can zoom out with space. Oh, I've been using that to run over them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a present. Don't forget to grab the uh, the souls as well. Nice, hell yeah! Oh, boss is here. You're gonna have to. Don't get hit by him. He'll kill you real quick. Um, expand annihilation. While well, moving, the whirlwind gradually gains up to sixty percent or cooldown recovery. Yeah. What? Hey, whatever you do, don't get close to the boss. Uh, stay ranged from him because I think he's gonna mess us up pretty bad. Oh my word, this boss has a lot of health. He does. Upside is when he's focused on one of us, the other one can attack him. Yeah, I see that. Nice, I think we got it. Yeah! Ooh, let's go, we got him! <laughs> okay, so that's a mini boss. Uh, cosmic okay. Chain. Uh... See, now we're doing a lot better and we're kicking ass. I'm gonna do Hellfire Burst. So that uh, is another skill of yours? It makes it where oh. as I'm walking, it'll pop up a... Uh... It's leaving like fire behind you. Yeah, it leaves fire behind me. Okay, there we go, black hole. That's right, get all those souls. Suck up the souls. There we go, level up. Ooh, leech. Damage leeched as health with endure. Oh, 0.6% of damage turns into health. I'll take it. Oh man, Tem either, oh, okay. Um, I need the 10% area of effect right now. Oh, for even more attack range? Yeah.
Nice. Level up. Woohoo! Pick up radius plus 30%. Ooh. I just got a legendary 25% barrier. Nice. Hell yeah, take it. Take it, take it. Oh. Yeah, the my. more the more the more you attack uh with dodging without getting hit, the more powerful your barrier will hold. So that way if you accidentally get like a random hit on you, it'll it won't do nearly as much damage. It'll definitely save your life. Huh. Oh, curse of calamity. Ah, veil of blight. If there's a bunch of guys around, let me know and I'll throw a uh, a black hole near them to suck them in. Because that's my uh, special skill, my R skill. See, hey, you noticed in the menu that it looked like there was two more slots for two other characters, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I was so, like, is there... Maybe you have to actually, like... Unlock them? Unlock them. Maybe... So, I mean... You know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe one of two things. Either it's just more characters for us to choose from, or... Maybe they're thinking of making it up to four players. That would be kind of interesting. They would definitely have to up the difficulty for four players, however. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay, so let's see. We almost beat that guy, so he only has 317 health. All right, I'm gonna do call direction. Oh, there we go. We're gonna level again. Yoink. Yeah. Ooh, pickup radius plus 60%. To, I'll take it. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the last boss in this area, after we do two more mini bosses, the final boss will be the last boss. You have to constantly use blink to dodge while you're attacking. Oh, wow. Like, like it's literally like perfect timing. Otherwise you get like half your health taken away. It was really hard. Okay, so impact. Ooh. Black hole, we can attack him. I just got really good cooldown recovery. Nice. Oh, give me that. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, make sure to dodge out of there when we get out of the skill thing. That's the one thing I probably would ask them to uh, to change. Let's say like we're going to choose our skills. Sometimes it puts you in a situation when you come out of it that you're completely so well. Maybe instead of like when you come out of it, maybe it should have a mild knockback out of your leveling. Like to where it knocks back any guys around you within like a, I don't know, the character's 20 foot radius or something. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do expand roll when by 50%. Nice. Nice. All these guys are moving faster. Yeah, they are. Oh, no. Trying to get the uh, souls over here so we can level again. Ah, what is that? Boss, 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 watch out. Uh, expand Veil of Blight. Yeah, make sure to zoom out when we come back. Yeah, otherwise that thing's gonna kick your butt. And I don't know how to revive you still. <laughs> okay, I'm putting down Black Hole. Come over to me, come over to me. All right, Black Hole's down. Now we can attack. Oh, 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 we got it, we got it. Yep, boss is down, mini boss is down. Ooh. Oh. Annihilation now does 100% more damage. By the way, I noticed this is a lot easier <laughs> with multiple people. Yeah, it is. It definitely feels like it. Ah, uh, Roger Cascade, who dished it up? Holy crap. I'm this. Yeah. Oh, shit. My thing's dropping massive meteors now instead of tiny ones. See. Oh, and my meteor has knockback. Oh, 70% longer void. Oh, wow. My range void attack goes 70% further. So I could be really far away from these idiots. Come on, die. Give me your souls. Suck up your souls. Take a black hole. Cosmic chain. Oh, there's another boss. Be careful. Yeah, but uh, these got me and being a bot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, elemental skills plus 15%. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I need expand rupture. Rupture? Oh, 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 oh. He's down. Nice. Yeah, get it. We got it. More level up. Oh, 
let's go. Oop, here we go. Enhance the call of resurrection. Cleanse all debuff on you and allies when activated. And cleanse oh, nice. all buffs on enemies hit. My aphotic cloud, I could have swore I read that if you stand in it, it's 50% less damage. That purple cloud or purple thingy. Huh. That little veil thingy. Or was it the cloud? I don't remember. It was something along those lines. I, I'll be honest, I didn't read it completely. <laughs> well, you've got to learn how to read now. Come on. Okay, here we go. Cooldown recovery. Ooh, plus 25 damage. Oh, Veil of Blight applies weaken to enemies inside of it. All right. So if we get them in that purple, if we get them in that purple area, mm -hmm. uh, it'll weaken them to damage. <laughs> Ooh, I just got cooldown recovery though by 25%. Come on, bring it on! Oh, now when the apothic cloud or apotic cloud dissipates, it does fear on the characters and makes them run away. That might help. Oh, 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 oh. Eat the yeah, soul. I think we got to do the same things. Oh, nice. Well, that's perfect. I think. That's the one that keeps on popping up that I haven't upgraded really. Damn, we're like literally like unloading on everything. <laughs> I know. It's like, hey, we just gonna okay. unload. Black hole. Black hole. Oh, 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 hey. oh, up. Is that the main boss? Yeah. Oh god, I think it's the main boss. Um okay. Now my cosmic chain applies a stack. So cosmic destiny. Alright, zoom away, zoom away. He's gonna kick our butts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is the one that was really difficult on single player. <laughs> it looks like a, kind of a creeper just about ready to explode, though. I'm not going to lie. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. We just... Holy crap. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to up the difficulty. <laughs> now that we both know what to do, we're kicking ass. I know, right? We're kicking butt. Okay, so let's see. So the way you up the difficulty is you choose the uh, depth. When you increase the depth, you we have to use the same map, unfortunately, because it's the beta. But on that map, we choose the depth as a lower depth, and it will make it more difficult. What? Uh, yeah, choose the the deepest depth. Uh, depth. I think we should be able to do it. We just got to be careful. And now it says five. Earlier it said three. Okay, yeah, go to, go to five then. Let's see if we can handle it. Oh, did you put it on depth three before? Yeah. Oh, well, then we're definitely going to be doing five easy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do like, it. it um, I guess because I couldn't change the depth. It was set for three. So I guess we have to keep playing to get more depth. It probably gives us a big chunk of experience more the deeper we go kind of thing. Or who knows? Maybe it'll unlock the next area. I don't know. I never yes. got this far. So <laughs> solo, oh. I never got this far. Oh. I'm gonna run you over. Level void beam. I'm yep. gonna increase my area of effect. That's essentially what I, that's essentially what I was doing too, but uh, with mine it's a uh, reach, so I could hmm. shoot my beam out a lot further. I'm just gonna chain them to the ground. I'm just surprised we're facing off against farmers, you know? <laughs> Ooh, 60% pickup radius. Nice. That's gonna help. Won't have to get in the middle of the fighting to pull up the uh, souls, to suck the souls away. Oh, I got hurt already. Oh, crap. I gotta be careful. Okay, I just got 35% cooldown recovery. Nice. I will take that any time of the day. <gasps> now, does that 35% apply to other skills I get later on? Um, It depends on what it says next to the 35% cooldown. Like, I'm not sure about your character, but mine will say that it applies to void or area effect or uh, fire or cold, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I meant like if let's just say I select multi strike or helper, does that 35% still apply to those? As long as, long it's, yeah, as, long as it's the correct uh, elemental skill type, yeah. Huh. If it's the same elemental skill type, it'll, it'll work. Right, Call of Resurrection. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, is that what you use to resurrect people? Uh, no, it makes it where basically I get healed. Oh, okay. Kind of like my leech spell thing. Yeah. Void beam casts slow on enemies. I'm picking up the souls. Yeah, pick up the souls. Give us some souls. We like them souls. Oh, 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 give me that soul. Level up. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, if we could get your cooldown to where it's super fast, that skill will just be on nonstop. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just be on nonstop being like on, 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 on. Okay, let's right. see. Siphon Light. I think that's the one I unlocked. I don't know what this skill does, but I guess we'll find out. Because I actually have this skill maxed out too after unlocked, so let's see what it does. Who knows, maybe it'll be something good just like Annihilation was. Let's see what Carnage does. What the heck does Carnage do? Oh. Uh. I don't know. Oh, main boss. Uh, hi, buddy. Oh, okay. Here. I'm trying Here to figure out. Yep. 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 Working on kicking his ass. Kick his ass, sea bass. I think we got him. Yep. Nice. Oh, leech. Oh, 3% leech? Oh, hell yeah. I can actually heal myself now while attacking guys. I just, I just selected crit by accident. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, Veil of Blight. Ooh, Demonic Rage. See, the Demonic Rage I really like. Burst into flame, stealing 50% ma of your max health to 450 units. Oh, okay. And has 5% um, innate leech. So. Interesting. Give me your souls. Oh, nice. Level up again. Um, ooh, more leech? I'll take it. Man, the more I heal, the easier this is going to be, the more I heal when I attack. Every bit, every time I hit anything, it's going to give me a couple health. Okay, let's get more souls. Get the souls. Get the souls. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, when it's a big chunk of people, let me know and I'll throw down a, uh, a black hole. Oh, wow. Wow, even more leech? Okay, I'll take it. I'm now at almost 5% leech. 5% of my attack becomes health. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, broken. Nice. Okay, so let's see. I can get either annihilation. Eh, I'm good. Should I do death whip? Yeah, let's do death. Yeah, the, all those skills you're talking about, I've never even seen them before, so it's all new to me too. I have no idea what they do. Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out. I got it. Get a black hole. That's right. Slowing you down with my void beam thing. Please tell me that fire skill is you. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, leveled up. Nice. Uh, ooh, I can now attack weaker enemies with doom. So like an insta death. <laughs> Um, bought a cloud. Create smaller, actually, yeah, the smaller clouds. The more, the more expansive your area of effect attacks are, the more insane you are, like you right now. <laughs> All your attacks are area of effect attacks. Yeah. And they do a substantial amount of damage. Yeah, they do. Uh, Reroll. Running across anything good? Uh, impact carnage. When your allies enter the pool, they gain, uh, the drench in the blood 20% more damage. Mmm, okay. That's awesome. That means it's gonna make me even stronger too. <laughs> yup. God, these attacks, it's so massive. <laughs> the attacks, both of our attacks hey, come like as insane. No, 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 let's just say it like it is. Pretty these guys, colors. These guys aren't even getting close to us. We no. could probably just stand here and let them die. <laughs> I know, right? Finds all the buff. Oh, I think. Oh, well, uh, uh, impact demonic rage reflects 150% damage taken, last four seconds, and nice. demonic rage is now 50 times bigger. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw a black hole up here. Ready? Go straight for them. They're coming right to the. Oh, they're dying before they even get to it. <laughs> oh, Crap. Oh, 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 oh. Boss, boss, boss. Boss, boss, boss. boss, boss. boss, boss. And boss. you're dead, bitch. <laughs> area of effect. I'm basically just choosing all the skill modifiers cards. 10% area of effect. And level up. Oh, again. another one. Oh, le yeah, let's just. Um, Look at <laughs> We could just literally stand here. Yeah, because guess what? Uh, My whirlwind is literally activate. Activate, 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 activ
pulling him to the black hole. Oh, boss, boss, boss. Shout for the boss. Level it up again. Ooh, void beam concentration. 70% even longer than what it is. Hit it from halfway across the map. <laughs> Make sure to zoom out of the way real quick once we get out of the little pause thing. Because otherwise she's going to hit you hard or he, she, whatever it is. This is the last mini boss. And then we got the real boss. <laughs> nice. Oh, ooh, movement speed. We keep leveling up. Holy shit. I know. We're leveling up again. And we're about to level up again. Right after this. <sighs> yeah. I love it. Here we go. Leveling up again. Enemies inside the Veil of Blight cannot gain health with this enhancement. <laughs> wow. So even if they got their healing guys with them, it's not going to do shit. <laughs> we love holy shit yeah you don't want to come down below it's probably gonna glitch the game out with all this non-stop skills yeah, they, there's a lot of souls down here oh yep get them get them get them get them let's go a green soul oh level up again nice i think i almost have all of the modifiers <laughs> <laughs> you too oh. huh yep there we go black hole Die, 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 die. Oh, this is the final boss. Ready, ready, ready. And damage up, and then we're gonna kill it. Done. <laughs> nice. You should be able to max out your skills pretty quick now. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, maybe. Yeah, so basically the skills that you like using the most, uh, try maxing those out first, cause trust me, it'll do substantial damage. We'll try, we'll try, well, it's up to you. You could keep recording or we could keep just playing. Yeah, let's it's do one you. more. One more? Okay, but a harder difficulty? Yeah, see if we oh, can get oh, how badass we are? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Vampire Survivor, if it allowed us to connect online like this with it, would be amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game solo, but I think it would make it substantially better. But unfortunately, it's only a couch co-op. Yeah. Join up with ya. I am liking this game. I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, I do too. Maybe it's because we're laying waste to it. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> I, like it. I mean, can you blame us? Yep. Yeah, twenty percent chance of multi multi ass. Oh, I notice at the end of the talents, there's like ultimate skills. You see that, right? Yeah. I'm really curious about that. Interesting. Time space control. When you hit a boss enemy with black hole, applies tides of war to player and the enemy. 50% tides of war effect. Deals 5% more damage. Takes 5% less damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Planner shift. Avoid taking damage when you take a brutal hit 30 seconds. Arcane darkness. Your void skills have 25% chance to apply blight. 50% more damage with blight. 60, per, 60 damage per second if I have arcane dark that it's we're already strong as shit oh it looks like I have different sets of skills too different specialization so instead of using void I can use blood attack or celestial hmm. instead of my usual void attack that might be something actually you know what let's uh Bexoth possession defensive skill preview specialization oh I get it okay that just gives me a different set of passives like ready when you are Edible. Yeah, it does increase. Okay. Uh, how, how far can we go? Seven. Do it. Let's do it. So yeah, every time we play, it increases the depth. Oh, I'm different. wondering if when we reach a certain depth, it has a special boss. That would be cool. That would be kind of cool. Like All it's right. a giant Lovecraftian boss. No, do not encourage the depth. But Lovecraftian bosses are the best. <sighs> Especially oh, when you get when you get bitch slapped by tentacles. It's awesome. <laughs> I've already had a deal with you and Once Human. I don't need any more. Oh, with my suggestion of Once Human putting all the Lovecraftian stuff in? <laughs> yeah. I know, they... and it's, it's nice that they actually listened. I'm happy. <gasps> yeah. Who do you think got jump scared because of it? Here we go. Aw, there's no skill ads. I'm, I'm, oh, I could have re-roll. I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll remember I could re-roll. Are you noticing that it's actually giving us uh, a lot more experience now for the souls? Yeah, I did notice that. Maybe because it's harder difficulty, they're making us level quicker, I guess. I, I could see in solo play that being really difficult. But honestly, I think we're going to reach a depth that co-op play is still going to become extremely difficult. Yeah, it is. <gasps> nice. Level. Oh, nope, nope. Thought we were going to level up. Guess not. Hey, where are the guys at? Oh, guys down here. 
Die, Farmer John. Okay, so yeah, our leveling up is the same. So to get, we're just leveling together. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Level. There we go. Siphon light. Honestly, I could play this for hours. <laughs> non-stop. Especially in co-op, I could play it non-stop in co-op for like hours. I know, right? Oh, my word. Level. Oh, 10% movement speed. Yeah, in solo, movement speed is extremely important in solo. Because it helps you get a, stay ahead of the bosses when they're doing their big attacks. Hmm. Okay. I, I just, guess... little, just little tips and tricks if you're playing solo. I could see that. Level up. Cooldown recovery. Thank you. Okay, so if it says cooldown recovery and there's no uh, elemental thing next to it, that is for all your skills. That's cool. Was that what you were running into earlier? Yeah. Yeah, that is for every single skill. <sighs> but I was wondering if it applied to it only when you have the skill or does it uh, no i i believe i believe those cards stack so like let's say i just got a new skill does it applies that to that too mm -hmm. even after you got it beforehand yeah yeah it, it okay. stacks your characters it's your character stat basically okay that's what i was worried yeah, about it's like ah. ooh, chaotic energy let's see time dilation wall i haven't used that before let's see Oh, that's... There go, black hole. Nice. <laughs> I can use oh, this. Oh, holy crap. I can use this just to that's like That's like a, that's Bay like a Kratos. Bay Bay that's, a, that's a Kratos attack. From, uh, from God of War. You know how he spun his blades around? Yeah. Hand siphon light. Oh, I don't think I'll ever get this again, so I'm gonna have to go with it. I have an epic of 45 crit damage. Oh, there you go. Take it. <sighs> wow, big boy's a lot stronger now. Oh, oh, not that strong. <laughs> there we go. Dark shackles. Give me that. I think I'm gonna go... I'm not getting the area of effect attacks for my character anymore. Like, my RNG on it kind of dropped on that. <laughs> maybe because the, maybe because the AoE attacks are very OP. <laughs> maybe. We Beyblade, Beyblade, gotta spin, gotta spin. Oh. Gonna spin oh. it right round, right round. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I missed Leech. Crap. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Go. Trying to level up again. Maybe I'll run into Leech again. Should be nice. Okay. Yep, leveled up. Come on, Leech, Leech, Leech. Nope. Give me your dolls. Annihilation. There we go. There's an area of effect. Drop those meteorites on the little bastards. Kill them all. Hey, uh. black, hole, black hole thrown up. Beyblade, Beyblade, cause let it spin. Go away, you I don't. Kill them. Oh, yep, cast slow with uh, Void Beam. That'll help with the bosses, especially the bosses later on. Come here. I'm gonna surf and surf and surf, 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 surf. Sorry. Too much fun. Nice, level up again. Oh, sure. Cascades two additional times in the game. Nice, I can control, I can increase the width of my void beam. I'm gonna go Call of Resurrection. I'm gonna increase my area of effect. It's on. Yep, give me all your experience. Leveled up. Yep, upgrade, annihilation. Oh, boss is here. Secondary yeah, boss. Yeah, I see him. I'm gonna go ahead and expand the roll. Careful. <laughs> and got him. I like how my thing that's supposed to be like just projected out to me is like non-stop just yep. out and about. It's like, uh, okay. Okay, so one more mini boss and then main boss. 
Hopefully they change up the main boss. That'd be really cool. Yeah, it would be. Oh, plus 25% damage to damage over time skill. Oh, uh, nope. I'll do the meteor one. It empowered the meteor. Now it's going to be large meteor, right? It's going to be like Final Fantasy VII's different between Comet and Meteor. <laughs> oh my word. Now it's no longer Comet. It's Meteor. <laughs> Nice, level up again. Cool. My Siphon Light ability, when it does the AoE effect, it now picks up the souls automatically for us. Nice. Oh, yep, killed him. Thank you. Oh, maxed out Annihilation. Probably, I think there's only like one or two more Annihilation uh, buff. So now we're gonna be on the main boss when it comes up. That mini boss went by super quick. I know. We're just way overpowered right now. Is there a way to turn up the difficulty more, I wonder? I think we have to keep going or keep ramping. Like basically keep progressively um, showing going we down. can do it. Yeah, showing we can do it. Look at my meteorite. With all your fire, you can see like this black rock fall down from the sky, a giant black rock. Now, Siphon Light will now cast Doom also. Boss is here. Yeah, I see him. Boss, level up. Concentration Void Beam. I'm gonna throw my uh, black hole out to trap him, and then we can just kill him real quick. Black hole's thrown out. And that's it. It took us six minutes and 49 seconds to beat the floor like that. <laughs> okay. I we don't have do to... one more. I want to do one more. I want to see okay. how far. One more and that's it. Because <laughs> I like, like we can, I like we can literally it sit here. We can literally sit here and just constantly just keep doing what we're doing and get to like depth 100 or something. Yeah, I know. I want to do like get up to 10 at least. Okay, joining your game. Is it 10 now or is it 9? It's 9 and then we'll be on the 10th. So I didn't know. All right, we're in. Okay. Okay, so let's do three. I'm probably going to be tall all together. Long. Plus 35% movement speed. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a legendary. Probably won't get that again. That's a, that's a huge boost in speed. Literally be like Speedy Gonzalez on the map. Pew! Underlay, underlay, underlay. Epe, epe, epe. Let's check out the rest of the map since we're kicking ass. Because yeah. I know there, there's a much bigger map. Let's see if there's like something we can unlock or something like that maybe. Yeah. While we're killing things. Oh, this way I think. I think there's a doorway over here. Yeah, because there might be something we can unlock that we're not thinking of because we're just attacking. Yeah, look, there's a gate. What the hell? Wait a minute. Is this something where we kill people on it and it will... Now well, let's try it. See if maybe we kill people on yeah, it and it'll fill it up. Stay right here maybe. No, let me oh, here. To... Very easy. They're come right to us. And they're dead. Oh, arrow. That was... It doesn't seem like it's really doing anything, does it? No. And we level up. 60% pickup radius. Hell yeah. Ugh. Find something over there. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. My uh, beam is almost long enough that it goes off the screen. <laughs> oh, wow. I just picked up Annihilation. Throw some Ooh, meteors dude, down. Rupture. <laughs> yeah, Rupture is the one that just makes it work. It goes all directions. Okay. I can't remember what Rupture does. I'm like, Rupture day again? There's all directions and I don't have to use my mouth. <laughs> Oh, boss. There we go. Black hole down. Attack him. Oh, yeah. He has a lot more health now. Oh, yeah. Or maybe not so much more health, more defense, I guess. Because it looks like the same health, but it's taking a lot longer to take down. There we go. Level up. Maybe he's more beefy? Huh. Go. Botic Loud. <laughs> Oh, we've checked over here if you want to go back and see what's up top there. Up north? Yeah, we'll check up north. Oh. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to unlock. Aww. You're kinda cool. Well, it is the beta, so it's possible that there will be. Yeah. Gonna do. Can you get me? Get me. Bale of Blight, thank you. Oh, another boss. Yeah. Annihilation. <sighs> Makes sense to use annihilation. Give me your souls! Oh, concentrate annihilation. Level up again. Hmm. Look, I shoot big meteors now. This is the tiny little ones. I shoot large meteors now instead of little tiny ones. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, there we go. Black hole. Trapped in the black hole. And now you're dead. Yeah, I think we got this. Watch the boss come out and do a massive AoE and just kill us in one hit. Yeah, that'd be kind of fucked up. Or make it to where the only way you could damage the boss is with critical hits. Nice! I fought a crowd! Bam, bam, bam! Alright, gonna kill all these guys. Bye! 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 They're throwing like weird fire grenades at us. Oh, that, let them. Not like it matters. Damn, look at all my meteors! You see that? <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, nice. Veil of Blight. If there are no enemies in the area, it moves slowly to another target. So even though it's stationary, it becomes not stationary. Oh my god. Nice. So I could literally just stand here. <laughs> oh, uh, stand here together. Let's see what happens. I I'm still think the boss. Look, it's moving. <laughs> oh my god. What the oh, hell? there's two at the same time? Oh, because I get double cast. That's right. Yep, we got this. Okay. Oh, gotta get the experience. Look, the oh. meteors are even killing things way the hell out here. <laughs> I see that. Okay. Yep, damage over time skills. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's the boss. Yeah, boss, be careful. Oh, level up again? Veil of Blight. I can now weaken the boss with the Veil of Blight. Cooldown recovery, 52%. Of a demonic read. This, this guy's screwed. Okay, so that was a mini boss, right? The last mini boss? I think so. Yeah. No, this one oh, oh. that we're fighting right He's now, the I think boss. the boss. Oh. Sorry, the boss, boss, boss. boss. Sorry, boss, boss. Alright, bye. There we go. Thirty thousand character souls. Oh, that was fun. Enjoyed that. I could see how that gets addicting. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed Lightless World. Me and Scary definitely enjoyed it. We played for a little bit longer than normal.
after the recording. And if you guys want to see us back at it when it's full release, let us know down below in the comments. And if you guys want to try it out for yourself again, that will be linked in the description down below. So let's get into the MDA of Lightless World. So starting off the mechanics. Honestly, the mechanic wise of the characters were actually pretty well made. I think the dodging mechanic was definitely felt refined, definitely felt like I had to still be on my toes. I had to know how much damage I could take. I had to know where I was placing myself, how I was placing myself while still being able to kind of maneuver. Um, so that's mechanic wise, I think hands down, he had a down pat. Now, dynamics, the way it felt to the player in the player environment, <sighs> depending how you build your character was really dependent upon this. Depending what you use kind of changed how you would react or kind of react to the environment. And I think if you're wanting to go for a cosmic horror aspect sort of pathogen with Diablo-esque feeling, maybe make it so the enemies that you face do some type of buff that makes it where get blindness or you can't see sort of make it so the player can feel aesthetics that basically darken your perception. Do things that harm the player, not just damage. Freak them out and like build the storyline to it. That way it sort of builds on top of the atmospheric feeling. Um, and then if you're going for the cosmic feels, I think it's okay to kind of make it so decrease how far the player can kind of see. Um, and as you build up your abilities or range, then expand out the player's availability, like a bleh, visibility. That way it keeps the player engaged, but also helps build that atmospheric feeling and suspense over time. Then aesthetics, tone it down a bit. <laughs> Sounds weird to say that. Um, tone it down a a bit on the aesthetics don't make it so bright or have i did notice certain areas did have certain things that you could do and maybe make it so you could change the color or change how vibrant um and honestly i hope the upgrade system and the talent system honestly put animations behind it in the background that would look really cool and then make it a custom ui just have it like um vertically down and then it would look really cool and you'd see the background player but other than that i think honestly this game was really fun it was pretty addictive i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and it has some really great qualities that i think once it's fully released it is going to probably be really good L like i think hands down it's gonna get addictive <laughs> It's going to be really fun to play. So if you guys want to try it out for yourself, links in the description. And this has been Six Link, three takeaways. See you in the next video.